Oh, look at you, Mr. Big Shot. You were destined for this. Nobody on the line without gloves and proper eye protection. Just thought I could help. Maybe you could show me how to make one. You can help by taking my dinner order, relaying it to Tanya by the long range. Eggs will do nicely dancing with tomatoes. One tomato omelet. You got it. Don't fold over. I'm talking to scramble. Several of them, actually, for my crew. No damn tomatoes. Peppers. Lots of them. As many as you got. You heard the man. And I'd like said repass set up over here in the northwest corner, which I hereby designate as this workplace's official cafeteria break room and motivational presentational cubby. And my brow will soon be in need of weapon. Ha-ha! <laughs> Looky what I found! And he told me a very interesting story about how he made his way out of our lovely home. It was Carson. Did I call it or what? I'm a gog. Why bring him here? Well, you need an extra set of hands to sort out those bullet casings, right? Apparently his eyes don't work for shit, but he does have a set of hands. We'll see if it helps. I only have a few bullets as it is. Quality munitions, but the quantity is full on scant. Still gonna be a few more days before we have any sort of supply to speak of. <clears throat> That simply doesn't work for me. I think a more biblical approach for maximum fright may be in order. You know, we could rig uh, several medieval-style catapults, start launching undead arms, legs, torsos over their defenses, maybe heads or, you know, big piles of guts. Uh, you know, pure psychops. I mean, that's some really traumatic theatrics there. Shit. Let's roll. Big day tomorrow. I thought. I thought I found it. What I was meant to do. You have. So have I. Get sorting. Pick up the pace. 